I think that the Tulsa Air and Space Museum is this like gem out here by the airport that maybe not. A whole lot of people, you know, people may know it exists but may not think to come out here. So, you know, what are some of the things that you would say to, you know, sort of point out the uniqueness and, and the and the true treasure mm -hmm. of this place to to somebody that's that may not have been here before? I think there are two really important things going on here. One is that preservation of our Oklahoma Aerospace Heritage from, we have space things here, we have, you know, general aviation, we have corporate aviation. The thing that most people don't know that we do is we bring, right now we're bringing almost 70,000 children through a year, through their schools, to do tours, classes, camps in the summer, camps at spring break. And so I consider this somewhat of a public asset. The purpose of collecting all this stuff was twofold. One was because there's a group of people that like to look at old airplanes, but there's the serious connection was trying to get kids inspired to study the things they need to study so they'll ultimately go to work in these advanced technology industries like aerospace, but also energy and all the others. You know, the oil guys are the ones who are responsible for our big aviation heritage here. Um, Getty, Skelly, um, Avery, all these folks bought the land to put the airport on, and they were all oilmen. But they needed to be able to, a couple things, they needed to be able to get to all their remote oil fields, and they needed a good air, airport. They also wanted to bring this big um, airplane tour to Tulsa, and you had to have the right kind of airport to be able to do that. They figured out that they were going to be selling lots and lots of their product to cars, for cars. But they knew this was a new market, and so they literally were looking to grow the airplane industry and be that to this day commercial airlines that's their biggest and most unpredictable cost is fuel so you see how aerospace and and, uh, and energy are tied these are the guys that came together here's Skelly um, Phillips of course Avery these guys came together and they pledged this much money and they bought the land that Tulsa International Airport sits on here. It's called the Stud Horse Note. <laughs> back, back in the day when, a, when farmers wanted to buy a, a horse for stud purposes, most of them couldn't afford it, so they put in money and bought one together, so they bought the airport the same way. So we call it, and this is the originals at the airport, the Stud Horse Note. Yeah. So in here we plan on doing all kinds of things. We, events are definitely part of it. And the revenue stream we get from events out here, whether it's a wedding in the planetarium or uh, a corporate event or, or even when schools bring their kids out for tours, that money goes back into the education program and, and supports our goal of trying to get kids excited about science, technology, engineering, and math so that they'll go to work in Oklahoma aerospace companies because we have quite a shortage. And I don't think very many people in Oklahoma know how big the industry is in, in Oklahoma. There's like 143,000 jobs in our state that are mm -hmm. aerospace related. That's huge for like, what, three and a half million population? And the average salary in aerospace is twice the average salary of the rest of Oklahoma. So most Oklahomans, I think the average is around 30. In, in aerospace, the average is 60. Hmm. So that's really significant, contributes to schools and roads and all that kind of stuff. Given enough material pressure and heat, the core of a clump may begin the process of nuclear fusion.